Welcome to my KTS Kumar video channel. Myself Santa Kumar. Today in this video, I am going to show you the demo on one of the features added in August 2017 CSAM update for SharePoint Online. How to recycle the file version in SharePoint using client side object model. If you want to restrict the user on permanently delete the file version, we can use the two newly added methods from microsoft.sharepointonline.csom package in csom projects file version collection dot recycle by id file version collection dot recycle by label these methods move the deleted file version to the recycle bin instead of permanent deletion for example if the user accidentally deletes the file version by using these methods we can easily get back from recycle bin let's move on to the demo For our demo, I have created a console application and I have also added a code snippet with hardcoded site URL and for retrieving the username and password during the runtime. In the SharePoint online site, I have already created one sample document with the uh, versions up to 4.0. So first, we will get a collection of all file versions which is associated to that single file. Before we uh, move on to our main code, we have to include the references of microsoft.sharepointonline.csom. So to add that, uh, we have to add it through NuCat package manager. Here I have to type microsoft sharepointonline.csom. The version is 16.1.6802.1200. This is the updated version on August. 2017. Let me install this to our project. Click on I accept to install to add a reference to this file project. Yeah, now this uh, reference is added to our project. You can see. Okay, let me uh, move on to our code to get the values from SharePoint Online. First, we have to get the authentication to that site. For that, uh, I am going to use uh, the authentication method from uh, PNP Core Package. Tools, you get Package Manager. Let me go to it. SharePoint PNP Core Online. Let me install it. Let me add it to our add. Let me add this reference to our project. Click on I accept. Closes. Okay. Uh, to, uh, to get authentication, we have to add authentication manager class. We have to declare this authentication manager from office div pnp .co. This is the class. Uh, this is the class name which comes from uh, SharePoint PNP Core Online Manager. First, we have to declare this. Then we can use it in our code. To get this, uh, to get the uh, SharePoint uh, or see some. Uh, uh, methods and properties you have to use Microsoft dot SharePoint dot client. Okay, now you have to declare the client context. And then we can authenticate through authentication manager and then we have we can get the client context from this get yes yeah you have to pause the site url username and password password First we declare a web ctx dot web from the web uh, we can get the file file 
based on the file you are on. Web dot get file by server relative URL. As csom demo dot docx. Uh, we can directly add our file versions uh, file version collection file versions file dot version this property returns all the versions uh, at the associated to this file object and then add file versions to the load now we'll add jQuery and first we'll add the code for uh, retrieving the total number of file versions file version start count if we have total number of file versions and uh, we can write the code for uh, getting the uh, file version id and uh, file version uh, label based on this two property uh, we are going to recycle the file version for that first we'll retrieve those File version and first your file version URL and then uh, ID. dot id and then uh, label question label yeah now we run this code password yeah now for this uh, file we have three file versions and then we can also see the id and label of each now we are going to delete the file version uh, based on the id file versions dot recycle by id oh, let me 512 this is the id of uh, id for the version 1.2 dot exit query try i will command this line first then we will run this yeah process completed we'll check from the site version is showing you can see the version 1.2 is deleted. We we'll also check from uh, the command line to stop this, and then we can run this. Yeah, we have. We have now only two versions. The ID is 1024-1536. Okay. Now we will try to uh, delete the um, file version based on the label 3.0. Okay. Um, okay. File versions 
not recycle by label okay and then execute query we'll run this command this and then we'll try it now now we have now only one version and the label is 2.2 the 3.2 version is deleted we'll check here version is 3 you see the 3.2 is deleted now okay in the code uh, this file versions which is which will not return you the uh, the latest file version the 4.2 is the latest version so it is not considered that as a version that is a main file okay and now you have uh, got this so this recycle method which will uh, not permanently delete the file it will move the file version from the, the library to the recycle bin so if you want it uh, if you want uh, you to get it back we can get it back from recycle bin if we check on the recycle bin you can have you can see the version 1.0 and 3.0 is deleted so and is moved back uh, moved to recycle bin so if we restore it we can See here in the file version history. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for uh, watching my video. And if you have any queries, you can reach me at KTS Kumar on uh, LinkedIn or uh, Twitter or Facebook, or you can mail me at KTS Kumar at live.com. And um, I have you can read my blogs also in KTS Kumar.com. Thank you.